Now let us derive the expression for shear stresses in beam. So as you can see here we are having a uniformly distributed load of W Newton per meter. Then we have considered a small elementary strip. Suppose the element which we have considered is having a thickness of dx or width of dx and the shear stress distribution diagram from the neutral axis up to the outer fiber is shown and the beam is subjected to the bending moment of m and m plus dm because of the uniformly distributed load or UDL as shown in the figure. So AB is the phase which is subjected to the bending moment of m and CD is the phase which is subjected to the bending moment of m plus dm. Because of this particular bending moment there is a sliding of the layer within the section and because of the sliding of the layer due to the tangential forces there will be the shear stress which is induced inside the beam. Consider any section EF at a distance of y from the neutral axis. So NA stands for neutral axis that is generally the xx axis. B is the width of the section and D is the depth of the section. The section EF which we have considered in this view it is at a distance of y from the neutral axis. Now let us use the flexural formula to derive the expression for this. So various terms which we have used m is the bending moment at phase AB, m plus dm or delta m is the bending moment at CD, f is the shear force or tangential force at AB, f plus df or delta f will be the shear force at CD and then we have considered a elementary strip, an elementary strip of EF at a distance y from the neutral axis. Suppose because of the bending moment the shear bending stress that is induced is sigma at section AB and sigma plus d sigma or delta sigma is the bending stress across CD at a distance of y from the neutral axis and i is the moment of inertia about neutral axis that is nothing but i x x that is 1 by 12 bd cube in case of the rectangular section. So now we'll use the bending stress formula or flexural formula to derive the expression of the shear stress induced in the beam. So we know that m upon i is equal to sigma upon y. So bending stress will be equal to just cross multiply by this y to this m. So it is m into y divided by i. This is for the phase AB. On phase CD it will be instead of sigma it will be sigma plus delta sigma or d sigma. In place of m substitute just m plus dm rest of the terms as it is. Now we know that the shear force which is acting on phase AB will be equal to stress into area. Stress is sigma and elementary area is dA. So it is sigma is this particular term m into y upon i. So m into y upon i and this dA as it is. Shear force on phase CD will be equal to sigma plus d sigma into the area that is stress multiplied by area that is nothing but force. Now sigma plus delta sigma is having this value so that we have substituted over here and area is the elementary area that is dA. So net force which is calling the net force which is causing the sliding of the layers will be dF that is higher value of shear force minus the lower value of shear force or we can say that FCD minus FAB substitute those values. Now this y dA upon i you can take common so it will be m plus dm minus m that will remain. This m m will also get cancelled. So it is dm upon i y dA that is the value of the force which is net unbalanced force which is required for the sliding of the layers within the section. So this is the sliding of the layer that will take place. So total unbalanced force will be we have to integrate the equation so d integration of df will be equal to dm upon i which is a constant and integration of y da is nothing but a into y bar so this is the mathematical definition of a into y bar where a is the area and y bar is the centroid so that value will be in mm cube so that is the definition of this integration of y da so integration of y da will have value numerically equal to a into y bar. So this is our total unbalanced force. Now we know that the shear stress which is induced because of the sliding of the layers will be equal to this 
force upon area area will be equal to b into dx so value of f is dm upon i into a by bar and divided by a divided by b dx so this is dm upon dx as it is a y bar this i will come in the denominator so a y bar divided by b i so this will come in the denominator now this is nothing but rate of change of moment with respect to distance x and that is nothing but shear force so shear stress will be equal to shear force into a y bar divided by b i so that shear force we'll have to calculate depending upon the reactions which are taking place or which are acting on the beam so in this way we can calculate the shear stress that is induced in newton per mm square or mpa in the beam